Yep, back out. And after the last board video, just had to get out. I was working this morning, so I'm late going out. It's quarter to three, I'm just local. This is my local area. About two miles in from my house. And what I want to find out is that, what is that? It's a big hill there, covered in trees. And I've always wondered what it is. But today, I fancy going finding out. So we're gonna go up there, and then you cut in through them trees all the way along. And there's like a, there's like a track, the crossroads. And I'm hoping you can cross to that, find out what it is, if you can get to it or what. Possible hammock camp. But the road's so busy, I've been walking on the road for the last mile and a half. It's so busy, so much traffic. It's mad. I've never got a break from it. Anyway, be in amongst the fields and the twigs shortly. So let's go. And just 10 minutes along the road, it's like this. I mean, you can still hear all the traffic. I'll come sometimes on my bike along here, it's a great mud bath. This is pretty dry compared to what it's normally like. I've been in some right states coming along here. Get all the tree roots, gone through the puddles. You need to have your, uh, your cleaning kit ready after you finish this. So I really don't know where I'm going. It could be private land. It could be fenced off. It could be covered in dinosaurs. Who knows? It could be the land that time forgot. Anybody remember that film? All these trees have put up with a lot of wind, haven't they? Coming over off the... This is all bare, like... Not be long before there's houses all there. Because all them houses through there, up until about five years ago, there was nothing there. It was like this, just fields, and now it's all houses. And they just build, build, build in Blythe. But you know, they're building all these houses, getting all these people in, they're gonna um they're gonna down the bottom on the seafront. They're gonna build a retail park on the old Derrick land. They're not putting any more roads in. The, the traffic is ridiculous here. This is my little rant. Trying to get out of here in the morning when you're going to work, even during lockdown, the queue is about three. That road there is about two miles, and I'm not joking. You sit at the back of that queue there, and it's queuing all the way up, and that's the only way out of this part of Blythe. There's another road parallel over that way, Cowpen or Coopen, but this is the uh, this is Newsom side. Newsom side, can I speak? It's called the Laverick Hall Road. And it's so busy, it's unbelievable, and there's no other way out of Blythe. They're building all these houses, all this business coming here, and they wrote. Crazy. Anyway, rant over. Let's get on with this. Oh, I think I'm going to get a little bit dirty. Like Christine Aguera. thought out isn't it? Like the two the two big leaning trees there. There's one there. They're natural, they're growing them. That's very handy. And then them four uh, two here in front. It's been well thought out. Needs a bit of uh, a bit more foliage. But shows what goes on. Not much mess either is it? It's good. I like it. Come back in the summer and get that built up again. Be good. It's huge. Get a few people in there. Let's fire in the middle. They've obviously got a bit of sense, haven't they? Because there's no 
big ugly fire scars. That'll be all right. This has been done by enthusiasts. Terrible trees of terror. They look like they're all gonna fall down. I've got no idea where I'm going. Oh, sort of have. I'm just reading um, a couple of comments on me on the last YouTube video, the, the bored one where I was bored. I was only bored that day. You've got to push yourself. You've got to just get out. You know, even if you just go for a walk around the block, just get out. You start, you get your gear on. Like today, I didn't want to go out. I couldn't be bothered. Been at work all the morning. A bit knackered like. But I got my boots on. Put me, put me top pants just set off and I was 10 minutes in I was buzzing like glad I came I'm enjoying it I've walked three miles so far I don't know how far I'm gonna get the day like but it's all good once you get out it's just that bit push yourself to get out once you're out you're laughing you go for a walk around the block you think when you're out you think oh, I'll just walk a little bit further a little bit more a little bit more then the next thing you've done like five mile. So my advice about that is if you don't even if you don't want to go out, push yourself to go. Because once you get out walking, you'll be into it. There's a bit of a car bumper there. How's that got there? <laughs> Bizarre things. Right. So I'm just gonna push on through these trees. There's an old joke, isn't there? See, my dad used to walk 10 miles a day. Every day, 10 miles a day. By Sunday, I had to go and get him. He was 70 miles away. <laughs> I'm here all week. So I've just been looking on the map. This is an old disused railway line. That's what it is. That's why it's a straight. It comes all the way through here. Imagine what that would have been like. Them trees won't have been there, obviously. Right, but that's me, um, that's where I'm headed. That's the hill there, 36 meters high. <laughs> but the map is telling me, instead of going through all that mud, if I walk to the end of here, there's another path. See the hedge takes you to it. And then I can have a look, maybe just have a look up and then come back down and then I can go straight across there back to the beach. There was a circular route. Good, like hurricane winds today. Windy as hell. Look at me hair. Look at hurricane hair. <laughs> hurricane hair gains. Just seen a lad come through on his bike. He went straight through that. <laughs> Get that cleaned. Right. All right, old railway line. You can see. There's a lot of history in Blythe about railways and that. Lots of railway lines being pulled up. They're talking about opening some up again, like rebuilding them because it's so busy. As I was saying earlier about the roads, they're getting railways, talking about getting railways in. That's how much it's getting busy. Right. I'm just at the crossroads. That's the way I came. Came from there. You continue walking, you get to New Hartley and uh, Seaton Delaval, Delaval Hall. That's another walk. Do that another day. Um, that takes you up to towards Cramlin, and I don't know where that ends. I've never been along there. And this is the path I'm taking with all the water in it, man. Look at it, it's bloody flooded. Them clump trees is where I'm aiming for, right? So, little whoop, little tip put your banana. You've had your banana, don't throw it away, don't throw it, stick it in there, still get home, you know, bin it. Easy man, it's easy. Don't throw banana skins, they don't. Um, they don't reduce away. They stay for blooming years man. Big, you see them all over brown banana skins, they're everywhere. Unless there's sheep nearby. I've seen sheep eating them before. But what's the harm in doing that? You know, it's pretty your side pouch. Or in the main bit, you know, anything. Or just you've got a front bit, bring a carrier bag with you. It's not hard, anyway. Nature's coat hangers. 
Right, crack on. Come back when we get to the hill. Well, this is the hill that I've arrived at. All that way. But I can't go in there because there's some people shooting in there. I heard them before. So that's a no-go zone. Great. Come all this way and they kind of gone in. Flipping can like. I can't oh, I can't hear them now. Oh, it's boggy. Let's see. I'll walk along here and see. I can't hear them, they can't be shooting, can they? Just crossed the burn. I'm huffed. I'm huffed because I couldn't get up to the top of the hill. There was another blimmin'. I mean, the Land Rover came along, they are shooting up there. But guys, I have no idea where I am now, like. I just, uh, I don't know, just took a following the view range, like. So, this is it's a footpath. The railway line right in front of us here. I'm hoping there's a tunnel. Because <laughs> if there's not, I don't know how I'm going to get over it. It must be. It's a path, there's people coming along here. Oh, this is good. All on me doorstep. Never been here before. I think I'll do a bit more exploring here. It's canny. Slippy underfoot. And the moment before, did a little river dance and made a recovery. Right. See what we're going. Should come out at the beach, I think. There you go, there's your water sauce. <laughs> I don't think I'd be drinking that, like. I think we'll go up there, across there, and then this is the, the embankment's just there, so I think we we'll have to walk all the way down there. There's a little, there's a little bridge I can see there. Oh, this is interesting. I like it when you get, uh, I wouldn't say lost, because I'm, I'm literally like a hundred yards from the beach. It's just getting to it is the hard bit. This is the best bit though, this is the fun part, exploring. So it's all about. We'll cross the waterfall of terror. Look at that water. Where's that come from? I don't want to know where it's coming from. Oh, we'll go over here. Hope you don't slip. And we'll uh, find our way. I think uh, there's a fence here that you can't cross here. I'm gonna have to follow this fence down. I'm gonna have to follow the fence along. It either goes over it, according to the map, it goes over it. So there must be, oh, there must be a bridge. We'll see. Well, I was nearly killed there. I mean, that was hard. It wasn't really. And so I think I'll just walk a bit further down here and there should be a, a way over. According to the map, there is. And the map's never wrong, are they? <laughs> so I came out of them trees there, come along here. This is a, uh, according to the map, this is a crossing point. So we go down here. There's a style there, like so it's all it's all above board. These are just goods trains. It's not like the um, it's not like these coast main line. So it's pretty safe. Across the style up here. Love stuff like this, me. This is really good. This is urban exploring. Never even knew this place was here. I've lived here um, 17 years or something. Oh, <laughs> it's one of them. 
pheasants are here, keeping away from the shooters. Christ. So here we are. Whew. Stop, look, and listen. Beware of trains. So, now we're coming this way. Now we're coming that way. I think we're good to go. Camera there for the tree. We're down there. The sea's that way. Oh, I love this. Well, after all that, I've come to the gap in the fence where the, um, the track ends. It's in there. It's a farm right at the end of that lovely farm. I had loads and loads of old um, old ironwork, like the old Victorian seats. Lots of patina. Drew would be interested in that place. Some good looking stuff. One little tiny little bench, like a little iron Victorian bench. It was child size. There's nobody there, so I couldn't ask. Anyway, I'm just coming out at the um, the main road there, cross out and that's the beach in front. It's probably going to be packed, I don't want to be really talking to the camera in front of packed people. You get, you get a bit self-conscious, don't you? But, um, all right, good, good little walk. Be prepared to get muddy though. It's, uh, that last bit, especially that last track, it was just a mud bath. I was doing all right until then. But, you know, only mud. What are these? I always thought these were pig pens, but I think they're for horses jumping. Pig pens. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut off there because it's the beach. I'm about from here. It's about two miles to mine. Just along the along the seafront. So unless there's anything interesting. Probably leave it here. Never know. I might do a little bit of silent filming. But yeah, I think the total, the total for this walk will be about seven, seven and a half mile maybe. I'm not sure. I am recording it on um, the Strava and Relive. So if that Relive works, should be a little video at the end of this of the walk, like a 3D map. Relive, it's an app, it's a free app um, and what you do is you just like, record it like you would record Strava and it plots, it plots your whole route and it puts it on like a 3D, you'll see what I mean um, if you edit it into your videos just trim the end off because at the end is like an advert for them you just cut that off, just split the clip trim it unless you want to advertise it Whew. That's it, this is where the, the horses, there's a load of horse activity around here. Some over there. That's where they're building the retail park. No, over there. Oh, oh I'm a bit further out there, I thought. I lost, lost in my own backyard. Through there, I don't know if you can make it out, it's Delaville Hall. I had planned to go all the way along there, and along Delaville Hall, and round the back of it. But uh, I wanted to see what that hill was all about. So I, I rerouted. I'll do that another day, that walk. That'll be about 12 miles, eh? Anyway, I'm waffling on here, aren't I? Just as a, a little closing. Bit of gratuitous sea action. It's Blythe Lighthouse. Still working. Came here last week. The waves were coming over the top of the the top lot of platform it was unbelievable to see it was so rough never seen anything like it this is called Meggie's Burn this I don't think I can cross it Meggie's Burn that 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 burn there comes out that's what I was that's that water I crossed up there that's that river I crossed comes out here anyway that's enough for me 
you've seen the rest if you want to see the rest of Blythe just check me cycling videos so I'm gonna go um, gonna have a nice hot bath with a fizzy bath bomb not even joking candles in a fizzy bath bomb that's my treat and a nice glass of wine just sit and chill out so until the next one we'll see you later